you've got a, a classroom of really naughty kids and they're sat there listening to you rapped for four hours how and i go i don't know i don't i can't tell you the, the magic form i can't tell you the words but i present a compelling argument for why they should listen to me how it advantages them in the same way i was trained to do in sales training and then i be the type of charismatic motivated person i think they need me to be in order to do what it is i want them to do that that's it if you want to be obeyed you kind of need to be somebody to be looked up to so is there a way around this that means that you don't have to develop your own boundaries and do your own work i don't think so i don't think so i think you could get away with it but the results would be weak and if we just say to our children do as you're told because you were told to do it we're breeding the next generation of consumer morons who are just going to succumb to whatever psychological propaganda, political brainwashing and, and rank marketing based Satan's diarrhea uh, consumerism is, is forced through their eyeballs and into their consciousness. And I think we've done enough. I think there's enough of that. I think we've had enough, right? So we don't want our kids to be that way. So never say to your kids, do as I say, don't do as I do. And never say to your kids when they ask you why they're doing something, because I said so. Just do as you're told. You're training them at the, at the meta level, at the context level. You're not just training. You think you're just training them in the content. Well, I'm not just training them to obey authority figures. I'm training them to obey me. I've had parents say that to me, and I'm like, I'm sorry, mate. It doesn't work like that. You are an authority figure. You are conditioning them to obey you unquestioningly. So any authority figure, including husbands and wives, when they get married or when they have girlfriends and boyfriends if they tell them to do something they'll just do it because you train them to be brainless and obedient and non-confrontational and cowardly do we need more of that do we i am not perceiving that we do so develop your own boundaries have a really clear conscious sense of exactly what you want for them and you what you want your your family to be about and what you want life to be about and share that with them tell them like you know, we don't want to be bombs, do we? It's really easy to be a loser. Look around you. Everybody's off the path. It's really easy to screw life up. Really easy. The easiest thing in the world. The only thing you have to do to screw your life up is go with the flow. The only thing you have to do to screw your life up is do what everybody else is doing. The only thing you need to do to, to turn your life into a catastrophe is just be normal. Be normal in the statistical sense. In the statistical sense, be the mean, median, or mode. Just be the average and you will ruin your life just like everybody else. Don't be normal kids. Normal sucks. Put that on a t-shirt.